Uh, okay. His last two dollars. Please don't give it to me. You know, I'm. Put it. Save it for a rainy nanosecond or something. All right. If you're that broke, then don't do it. And here I am. I'm listening to. Stefan Molyneux's podcast from January the 20th, 2013. By the way, this is the great one himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N, L-I-B, S-O-C.com. I'm listening to Stefan Molyneux's Sunday call-in show from January 20th, 2013, the one in which he comes on and whines about how somebody gave him a $2 donation. And not so much a donation, but he's he's whining about the fact that he posted on Facebook, oh, I only got $2, and people ripped him a new asshole for bitching about only getting $2. And then he's on the, the show here, Talking about how, oh, you people are doing violence to me, and oh, you're so messed up, and oh, it's your childhood. Dude, no, you came into a public fucking forum, and you fucking whined about how you're upset because somebody only gave you $2, and what a great burden it is because now this has to go into your your tax paperwork, and you have to deal with this. Oh, wanty, wanty, fucking wah, wah. Calling you, shut the fuck up. You, you're all you do is fucking beg for money. All the fucking, you're every fucking podcast. Give me money, donate. I, I work for free. I'm a stay at home dad. Give me your Bitcoin. Give me your money. If you listen to this podcast for free, you're stealing. You're a fucking whiny little baby. You present a lot of great information. I learn a lot from you. I agree with many of your. Opinions that I don't have. Well, you don't agree with my. It's not my philosophy. It's philosophy. No, they're your fucking opinions, dumbass. They're your worldview. They're your way of evaluating the information available to you. Okay, you're right about a lot of shit, but stop the fucking why. I come on this podcast, go give me your Bitcoin. But you know, smart people can figure out that while yes, I will certainly take your Bitcoin. I would love to have your Bitcoin. I'm not serious about. You giving me your Bitcoin, I, or in the sense that if you're listening to Stating the Obvious podcast without giving me Bitcoin, you're stealing from me. Molyneux, you, for somebody who actually gets the feminization of America as well as you do, you sure are a giant fucking vagina. The... And I'm going to talk about this more in the future. This is just like a teaser. The realm of anarcho-capitalism... Because I, I don't want to say things like the, anarcho, the, the anarcho-capitalist movement. I fucking hate when people talk about movements and shit. The anarcho-capitalist sphere of thought is in great danger of being invaded by two factions. One of them I've talked about at length already is the Republicans who are trying to label themselves libertarians because Republican, conservative have become dirty words. And so they want, oh, I'm not a, I'm not a conservative, I'm a libertarian, right? Like Glenn Beck, Ron Paul, Rand Paul, Julie, Ber- uh, Julie yeah, Julie Berinsky. Ju- yeah, Julie Berinsky. Right, I mean, these people are not libertarians in the sense that they are anarcho-capitalist. They are Republicans who just don't want to call themselves conservative Republicans because that's a bad fucking word and they know it. Just like liberal Democrats don't want to be called liberal Democrats because liberal is the same as fucktard, right? When somebody hears the word liberal, intelligent people automatically substitute the word fucktard. The other group that is going to try to move in and take over the anarcho, that 
I cannot fucking talk. I've had two gin and tonics. I'm trying to do some fucking photo editing. I'm listening to Stefan Molyneux while doing the photo editing, and this is what came on, and it just pissed me off so bad I grabbed the fucking recorder and started talking. Yeah, I normally edit photos when I'm drunk. It makes the photos look a lot better. And <laughs> especially when there are a bunch of a bunch of fucking ugly ass women. You know, girls, this fucking tattooing, piercing, shaving your fucking heads, you are not attractive. All right, I know you're attractive to fucking some people, but you're not attractive to real men. You're not attractive to men who have standards. I just did some photography for a fashion show. I have never seen so many fucking ugly women. And these were the models. I mean, they were just disgusting. Fucking metal stuck in their faces, metal hanging out of their lips, metal hanging out of their noses, tattoos all over the place, fucking spray on tan. This, their skin is all nasty, like dried up and nasty from all the chemical. I'm just fucking disgusting. Disgusting. God damn it, they're nasty. Just fucking nasty. The other faction that is going to try to move into the anarcho capitalist sphere, and I talked about this with Ben Stone, is the feminist and the card players, right? The race card, the gender card, the patriarchy card, all, all, the, all these card players, all these, these people who believe in institutionalized oppression. And I'm going to, if I get my shit together, I'm going to rip Ben Stone a new asshole again because I'm going to play a clip where a guest comes on the Ben Stone show, the Bad, Baker, Bad Quaker podcast, if I can fucking pronounce words, because, you know, it's not like I'm actually drunk. I can't pronounce words when I'm sober. So it's not the alcohol. Some idiot comes on the Bad Quaker podcast as Ben's guest and delivers this spiel, which is pure feminism. And I'll, I'm going to play this. I'm going to explain this at the time. But I'm saying now, it's like if you have somebody who is a Broncos fan, Right, because I'm in Colorado. So, oh, the Broncos, Broncos, Broncos. Shut the fuck up about the Broncos, you fucking loser, and get some friends. Right, if you see somebody and this person and this person says, well, I watch all the Broncos games and I have Broncos t-shirts and I have a John Elway signed football and stuff. You can say, okay, those are indicators that you are a Broncos fan. You have the worldview of a Broncos fan. And that's not a judgmental thing. Now, you can be judgmental, as I am, about Broncos fans. But the point is, those, regardless of whether you approve of Bronco fans, disapprove of Bronco fans, couldn't care less, whatever, those are traits. Those are, what's the right word I'm looking for? Those are attributes of the worldview of a person who is a Broncos fan whether you agree or disagree with being a Broncos fan. This person comes on the Ben Stone Show, and he outlines this worldview he has. And that worldview is comprised of the attributes of the feminist statist worldview, regardless of whether you agree with feminist statism, disagree with feminist statism, couldn't care less one way or the other about feminist statism. He makes these statements that are the attributes of the femistatist worldview. And Ben Stone, like a big giant fucking femistatist that he is, says, Whoa, those are really good points! <laughs> or something to that effect. The point is, Ben Stone agrees with a fucking femistatist. Okay, so if a person is a femistatist and you agree with the femistatist, then you have a feministatist worldview. I'm sorry to fucking use logic. And if you're Stefan Molyneux and you come on and you start whining about how somebody only gave you two dollars, okay, when people call you and tell you call you on your shit and tell you stop fucking whining about getting only two dollars, get over it, you fucking upper middle class white person who lives in a gated community and never fucking goes outside and doesn't have to work for a living, 
You know, you can't come on your podcast. Oh, people are doing violence to me on my website P- or Facebook, wherever the fuck it was. It was on. I was on the fucking Facebook, the feminist book. You know, he's sitting here talking about how people are doing violence to him. How this is violence to call him on his bullshit for whining about only getting a two dollar donation. I have an idea, Stefan. Why don't you stop being a motherfucking woman? <laughs>